Hello, and welcome to today's Friday LinkedIn live stream. My name's Rick Vanover, and I'm going to be your presenter here today. What we're going to do is give a brief overview of vMon. vMon is going to be held this month, and my objective of this time is to give you some previews of this event so that you can go forth, attend it, get the most out of it, know how to navigate it, and most importantly, veeam up a little bit. So as I said, I'm Rick Vanover, and uh, there we go. Let's We are live. We've got people on the line. So i got basically five things I want to uh, communicate to you for of substance, right? But main is what is vmon? I want to kind of just introduce it to you. I know a lot of conditions are different this year, but I want to make sure that you can consume it in the best way. So I'll give you an overview of it. And we're going to talk about how to experience. We're going to navigate through the, the content and the different types of content that are in there. In fact, we have some new experiences this year. You know, everyone's had to make adjustments to their events, a lot of virtual events. So we've got some uh, tricks up our sleeve to make it a little bit more special for you. So hopefully you can enjoy that. And I should be remiss if I didn't say I've got my a uh, couple of members of my team on the line. So in the LinkedIn chat, if you have a question, um, you know, Christy will type it in here for me. I'll try to give you an answer. We're also going to do a sneak peek to some content. So this is actually my own little favorite thing. I have a little side hustle here at Veeam where I help out the Veeam on team with the content. So I've taken some breakouts. I've actually stolen some of their slides that I'm going to give them to you here. So uh, we won't have the full context here, but I want to give you this taste of the event so you can know what you're going to uh, experience here at the event. And then we'll wrap up. So let's get into it. What is Veeam on? Well, Veeam on is an online event this year. You know, historically it's been in person. We started in 2014 and 2015 in Las Vegas, 2017 in New Orleans, 2018 Chicago, 2019 Miami. 2020 was supposed to be in Las Vegas again, but uh, current conditions indicated otherwise. So let's uh, take a look here though at the website. If you go over to vmon.com, you can find information about this page and it redirects to a specific page at the Veeam website, Veeamon, or Veeam.com slash Veeamon. And the first important thing you'll notice is, oh, there's a nice guy. A couple of different of the profile speakers will be highlighted. We've got some of the best people at Veeam. We've got some external people, and we have internal people. Oh, when I was just, we just announced that we're going to have Keith Urban. So uh, we're going to have a social experience with the event. But the important part of the event is that you learn some Veeam stuff. And if you go up top here, like right there, we have the agenda, breakouts, and some information about the past events, right? So at the agenda at a glance here, this is a high-level view of what you can see from the event. Now, the one thing that might be the most confusing for a lot of people is, is really these different timelines here. So we've structured the event for like US West, US East, CET or Central European and Singapore time. So it can be consumed globally. And basically there's a continuous set of the broadcasts that will go for these time zones. And we've broken them down into the, the different time zones. So let me start and just kind of walk you through the experience so you know which, whoops, not start menu. So you'll know what to expect. So that first day, that Wednesday of the event, the general session with Bill Largent, our CEO, and Jim Kruger. Now, Bill is our CEO, but he's not new to Veeam, right? He's been with Veeam longer than I have, longer than the 10 years I've been here. I think Bill started in 2008. And Jim Kruger, our CMO, we're going to give you like some business overview, some market strategy overview, some customer stories. And then you'll see that the breakout sessions, live demo sessions, all these other types of experiences fold in. Now, the important thing to note about these breakout sessions, these are going to be a choice of four different sessions concurrently. And I've done my best to balance where the speakers need to be at the certain times to give you the best content. So what I mean by that is you will see like maybe three technical and one kind of decision maker type of content for every time slot. And then in those three technical, you'll maybe have different products, right? So Veeam Backup and Replication or the agents, and then maybe Office 365. The last thing I would want to do is put three Office 365 products in that time slot. So hopefully you can understand why I'm bald now, because that is a very stressful process to, uh, to manage. And then we also have a new experience here called live demo sessions. So we've enlisted some of our SEs and architects to show 
a live demo of a capability of one or more products. So that's a new way to consume information, how to do things with Veeam. And probably the most important part of our uh, event is the variety of content. So we have the breakout sessions again, but we also have our partners recommend uh, represented here. And, you know, our partners have worked with us to adapt to the new format this year, which is great. And we have a new experience this year. So the Vimathon is a new type of experience you can consume here at Vimon. And Vimathon takes a little bit of explaining, right? I, I wanted to kind of go with the idea of like a hackathon but you know, I don't really like the word hack. So we updated a little bit and Veeamed it. So over on the Veeamon webpage, you can find some information about it. But the thought here is that this is gonna be a live session that explains how to do some advanced configuration and diagnostics of our products. And Corinne on my team, one of the technologists here, she had the great idea of doing this. They, they made a great video, by the way. I love these fun types of things where they kind of come up with the different ideas. And that's Corinne, by, by the way, doing both of these videos. But you can read more about that at the Vimon page. And I think that this is going to be a great new addition. So this is actually going to be driven by our support team. So the Vimathon experience is a new experience at Vimon. We were going to take it to the in-person event. Let's see how this goes, and hopefully we can bring it back next year. It's the first time we've had that. And when we think about new formats we can do with the event, it's important to note that we can also reach new people. Because the event is free, people that may not have been able to attend the event, now you can. And as I take a sip of coffee from my... Veeam user group uh, coffee mug. A big shout out to the Veeam UK user group. I uh, use this cup every day in the office. Ah, it's good coffee. Anyways, so that's one part of the experience, but let's go back to the agenda. And what you'll see here are the breakout sessions I want to jump into. Actually, I want to go back to one more thing. The second day, ah, yes, I forgot about that. The second day has very similar layout to the first day, except that we have two notable differences. One, the concert with Keith Urban. Now that's free entertainment. How can you not want to do that? That's awesome. And then the other general session. Now this is where the technologist in me shines through because we have given an extra amount of time for the technology general session. So right here, Danny Allen, our CTO and senior vice president, along with Anton Gostev, Senior Vice President of Product Management, will be giving you some previews to some new product capabilities. So I can't tell you exactly what's going to happen, but it'll be half for Veeam Backup and Replication, future capabilities, and half for other products, future capabilities. So both Michael Cade and Melissa Palmer on the Product Strategy Tech team are going to bring some awesome demos. So I definitely encourage you to check out that general session. But in the middle of the day, it's going to be very similar to the first day had to mention that. But then those breakouts, right? That's where I've spent a lot of my work. You can look through the page here and get a sense for these. Now, one thing I want to tell you is that we have 20 breakouts in this broadcast event. And so you'll choose across the four to attend. But later in the summer or at some point after the event, you know, once Vimon happens, we're not done. I really encourage you to come back because we're actually going to implement new content through the summer. So there's a whole nother library, in fact, more that have already been recorded. I was previewing some of them here on my TV here in the office today. And new additional content is going to be shown there. I've got everything from information about the Vanguard program. We've got information from some of our partners, more advanced use cases from some of the different breakouts and other things. In fact, one of them starts with a part one on the broadcast and goes to a part two on demand. You can check all of that out. So with that, I want to pivot back to my slide deck because I want to give you a sneak peek of some of the breakouts. So what I've done is I've taken a few breakouts and I've stolen one slide. Well, actually two, because I can't really steal their slide without giving them credit. So one of the breakouts you may experience is Storage Integrations Deep Dive. So Sean and Adam are architects in our alliances organization. They have a great topic about these storage integrations. And... I stole one slide. There's so much more, but that was the goal of my little sneak peek here. So their slide, when they talk about storage integrations, is walking through minimizing the impact 
that a backup has on your VMware environment. So they will explain completely how the production storage will inter interact with the backup server to then take a snapshot and move that data from a storage snapshot. So application consistency would still be done. How the VM snapshot is possibly not all the times used. Change block tracking information is sent, but then the most important part, that backup is being done from the proxy directly from that storage snapshot. So I have greatly simplified this process, but my goal here is that if you understand that our storage integration provides you very low impact backups, you can have more information about that, especially if you have an integrated storage array, but you haven't quite implemented this. This session will tell you everything you need to know on how to do it. And then how those backups end up in the repository and how you can recover from them in secondary storage locations. Adam and Sean do a great job of explaining that. Maybe I didn't do so good. Then the second kind of preview I want to give you is from Michael Cade on the product strategy team and Dimitri on product management. They're going to take a very, very deep dive of the NAS backup engine. Now, the NAS backup was, without a doubt, the most anticipated feature I've ever had in my time at Veeam. I mean, there was a time people wanted physical, but I feel like that has been, it's been a long time, but they've really wanted this. So Michael and Popov go through a number of different things, and I want to highlight one thing. And it's something we don't talk about so much. It's the secondary copy of the data. So Dimitri and Michael will explain how the different file data sources can be stored in their primary storage, which everybody probably knows and does a little bit with, but they explain the long-term retention in the cloud and secondary copies. This is very important for like a disaster recovery environment of your file data. A lot of people think just back up and restore, but at Veeam we talk a lot about the 321 rule and those other things. This is a great session where you can find out more information about that. So cheers to Popov and Michael. And then Tom Seitler has a really cool session about Linux repositories to the rescue. In fact, we uh, have been working hard to provide more ransomware resiliency, more information about um, how to implement Veeam with more layers of protection. Tom tells a great story, but there's one slide I wanna kind of tease you to about his session. And it's basically this Linux repository architecture. There's so much capability now with some of our XFS fast cloning capabilities and how you can shape the, uh, the Linux server to hold Veeam backup data that will really give you a very ultra resilient copy of these backups. And so Tom goes through this. Now he builds up to this. But if you're a Linux fan or if you're concerned about ransomware and your integrity of your backup data, this session is for you. I cannot wait to attend this. So the summary of what Tom's going to explain here is that we have our backups and through the proxies and more importantly in the Ubuntu or Linux target, we're going to put some very special configurations in place, including Linux snapshots with some keys and all kinds of other resiliency techniques that'll keep this backup data really secure. So I really encourage you to check this out. That's one that I can't wait to attend. In fact, I'll probably play it on the preview here because uh, one of the, again, the side hustle, it's one of those things that hopefully I can uh, play uh, this ahead of time and learn some tips. But I don't want to steal Tom's thunder, so definitely attend that one. And the next one I want to highlight from you for you is around sizing. So this is really something that I get a lot at Veeam. And if you're thinking about Veeam, sizing a Veeam implementation is something that is, is, you know, it could go a number of different ways, but the best way you can do it is from field experience. So I've got two different individuals here that are going to share some amazing perspective. One, Tim Smith, he's an architect in our America's SE organization. One of the best out there, Tim's a former Veeam Vanguard. He's got a blog at tsmith.co. Follow him on Twitter at timsmith underscore co. I really like Tim. But anyways, he's one of the best. But then also, I kind of wanted to put two different perspectives. So Neil is one of our senior support engineers, right? So there's a whole big 
disconnect sometimes between how it's implemented and how it works a year later. So I've combined those two perspectives here. So I've stolen one slide about proxies. How many times do we have questions about proxies? So here's an example where Tim and Neil explain how we're wanting to back up 260 terabytes of data with per VM backup config, eight hour backup window, and we're gonna plan on 10% change rate. They walk you through how much throughput is needed, the math, the calculation, how many cores, and how much RAM would be needed, right? So this is wonderful information. This is stuff we don't usually put out in public, right? We have our architects do it. Here is an opportunity that you can really learn up big, time so that is i think yeah that was my a couple of my previews right so hopefully this was really a good tease and that was the goal is, is to tease the content i wanted to give you a, a couple of small slices of the level of content that we're going to have at this event now you can see how to i've hopefully got you interested so now what do you do with this information go to vmon.com and register now now a couple of things about the registration one, free. Two, uh, you do it right here with this real simple uh, enrollment here, and you'll get access to all of those different uh, key parts of the uh, event. And you could say that you're a customer, a partner. Uh, and, and by the way, that's an important thing. Our partners, uh, whether you're a reseller, a distributor, a service provider partner, an alliance partner, a global systems integrator partner, uh, I'm probably forgetting partner types. Partnerships are in our DNA. You're welcome to attend, absolutely. Bring it on, I like it. Anyways, fill out this information and you'll be all set. And from there, you'll get an email confirmation with the specifics on how to log in. And that is really what you need to know about VMON. Now, a couple of things just came in. One question came in from Marco. Marco asked, what about stuff being recorded? Good point, yeah, they are being recorded. So Marco, like if you like to watch Tom's Linux session, but something else is going on at the same time, no worries. After the event, all of it will be consumable as replay. So definitely it's the same case if you had to leave early because of the time zones not working. And I'd be remiss also if I didn't mention our sponsors, woohoo, to our partners. Great lineup, you know, from the Alliance Partner ecosystem, from some of our resellers, service providers, they all were able to support this new format. During the event, around the middle of the day, they're, each of them are gonna have like their virtual booth. I encourage you to check it out. And a couple of these partners have secured opportunities to do breakouts, which will be consumable into the summer or later in the on-demand library. So go ahead and register now. And you know we're definitely looking forward to seeing you at vmon interacting with you some of the content's going to be live some of it's going to be broadcast recorded the end result is that we're going to have a comprehensive experience for you and with that i want to just double check to remind that we're going to have that keith urban concert apparently it's a big deal a lot of people are excited about that so please join us for that and then the next time here on the linkedin social stream uh, we have another topic queued up for monday the that would be the 8th if my calendar math serves me well. It does. Monday the 8th at 12 noon Eastern time and 11 Central time. Jason Buffington and uh, IBM are going to be presenting a topic around IT resiliency in the real world. So this is something Jason's been working on and Emilio from IBM is going to join him. And it should be a really good kind of very focused topic around IT resiliency. So. Okay, well, we're right about at the 20 minute mark. Again, these are short, sweet uh, sessions that you can consume. Go on over to vmon.com and you can register for vmon and hopefully this little preview and how to navigate the experience has been helpful for you. On behalf of the Veeam social media and video teams, I'm Rick Vanover and thank you for attending this session.